Okay, we're gonna be moving on towards day two, match two, game two, first half of CT versus T once again. It's gonna be CT Knight here coming out as Trunk Guard Detention with Blink. Okay, survivor wise, we're gonna have one flywheel on the anti Korean movement speed boost on both, um, guard, not guard, <laughs> barmaid and patient, and then one tie turning here on towards the mercenary side. It was four to three. It's basically seven, oh, well, not seven, it's eight to one right now, point wise towards T. We're gonna be going straight towards Lakeside Village here, which is a good map to counter. Good map to counter, um, Gamekeeper, but, uh, bad, mm, we're gonna have to see, I mean, Alekas like did manage to get a poor man elimination here, so that's on that side, but also, we can't forget that anti current can actually get rid of the trap there as well if she wants to, which is one mini bamboo flute but it seems like we're going to be able to tight contain here for quite a bit of time we are going to be able to get that move mind game there as well and then with a 15 second disarm rate we did use three bamboos there so there's quite a little bit of a very early game that's it's very bad that it has a okay Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, now nice. I learned something new today now. Hey, but it seems like we didn't get that trap for some reason. Um, I may have to reread the skills of, 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 um, of, of Gamekeeper again. But apparently you don't get trapped. You don't get double trapped or am I dreaming? I might be dreaming, but let's move back on towards the game here then, shall we? We're going to be able to get that hook over, but it seems like Flywheel did manage to cancel everything out. That's going to be a two-second disarm here immediately. Meanwhile, anti current is not going to be able to get over Palette. Okay, night, very nice early game. Very, very, very nice early game against anti current being able to actually get that um mind game there on that big windmill but it seems like here for survivors it's not really missing that much cypher machines either too we're going to be able to pop off the cypher machine near barmaid side barmaid should be able to decode a big boat but maybe it would be the best for us to leave big boat for now we do have mercenary here with tie turner mercy most likely will be sought out sought 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 out immediately but um, with that middle side machine currently being done, it seems like it's still going to be a tie game for now. The early game was very good, but you don't really have that much map control pressure here. So on the survivor side, their rush is going to be inevitable. Now then, nice. Preferably speaking, you know where mercenary is. Preferably speaking, we should go out to look for mercenary here immediately. But if we get a hook, it's going to be pretty bad here. Especially with the fact that if Knight just decides to place out a trap and hook the mercy, mercy could potentially speaking here just... Mercy in a nutshell could potentially speaking just get um double hooked and it's gonna be a double down situation. But it seems like for the survivor side, we're gonna be able to sell the um we're gonna be able to sell Hua Hua here. Barmay gonna be the immediate next chase. Barmay being able to jump down here, which is fairly nice, but also at the same time, Barmay has to be a little bit careful here. We're gonna be able to get the first hit on towards Barmay, but seems like we want to use the hook again. We want to recast the hook. We need to recast the hook. Nice! That hook has to be recasted, nice! Ah, uh, it's either you land the hook first and then hit, or you recast the hook immediately. Now you, sh you, mmm, mmm, nah, for you there, you're not a max presence. Then maybe it would have been best for you to hook first since you get a chip damage. But for Barmaid here, who basically gets back the full health, if you manage to get the hook here, you see she's one hook, one down. One hook, one hit down. That's a good thing about playing this type of character. But it seems like for Barmaid here, with no doubling remaining, no speed doubling too. Cypher machines where we're basically just missing 150% Cypher machine. Uh, we could double trap this area, but it seems like Barmaid didn't really pull enough distance. Ah, Knight getting stuck a little bit. We're going to hide towards the corner. We did get a hook in, and with that hook in, Mercy Cypher machine once again primed, only missing a 50% Cypher machine now on Big Bowl. We know where Dungeon is. Mercenary is going to have to elbow pad out. Mercy, go, go. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to have we need to dodge this. Very nice dodge. Very, very, very nice dodge. With that amount of time, Bosch, we are going to be able to see Patient finishing off that 95% Cypher machine. With that 95% Cypher machine done, Big Bow Cypher is going to be done. Big Bow Cypher should be done in time, so it does, does still seem like it's going to be a tie game. It does still seem like it's going to be a tie game here. Yihua, going to be very careful here with a trap placement as well, but... um. On the survivor side here, preferably if we get a before half rescue, it would be for the best. We didn't get hit right over the pallet there, a little bit unfortunate. We did manage to go out, but seems like it's going to be a normal attack animation hit, and we're going to go in for the rescue. We don't have hook, which is the good news. Um, Knight does have TP, but with that TP on mind, it seems like we are going to be going straight for Li Bao. 
，那水泡呢？我等会要放水壶里面泡奶，泡那个蜂蜜。要。要。Yeah. Okay, back to the game we go. Leave all here looking for. Gonna be. I didn't really get the hook there, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, we didn't get the hook, but we are still gonna be able to go over there as well. Uh, we're starting a new cipher machine right now. Not too bad. We're starting a new cipher machine right now. It seems like. Seems like Mercy is gonna get heal here. Mercy should still be able to rescue, which is not bad news. But I guess their decoding speed is gonna be a little bit slow here. Okay, we're gonna be able to get a normal hit reanimation. Very nicely done. And seems like the cipher machines are fifty percent right now. Li Bao on this side, patient. One hook remaining. But GK also does have a hook here. I mean, this double pilot area. If you hide behind dash. If you, honestly speaking, right. If you hide behind that area, you should be overall fine. But we're doing a lot of hooks here. But the only reason we're doing that is because we want to slow them down as much as possible. Now then, Cypher Machine is pretty proud. We do have one level power remaining here on towards the mercenary side, but... Seems like for now, Mercy didn't really leave the Cypher Machine early enough. We may see a double down situation here. Mercy might not actually make it towards the... Chair. Which is a little bit of an issue, but Mercy needs to focus on... Ah, ah, that is insanely well done. Mercenary didn't really thought about that beforehand as well. That is not good. Mercy elbow pad. Mercy elbow pad in. We might have overextended with elbow pad, but that's okay for now. We want to hook on towards the mercenary here. We... We... We are going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to go look for patient here as well. Oh, we're going to have to be very careful when looking for patient, though. Okay. Teleport is ready. Teleport is ready. Knight has a huge chance of winning right here. We... Oh, we got the chair hit. Wait a second. That is really bad. Mercenary no items remaining here. We could still tie. We can 100% still tie here. All what we need... All what we need... Is to... I mean, he, Mercy can tank two hooks. So if Mercenary here can actually go straight towards... Oh, Mercy. Okay, so you can't get... You cannot get trapped twice in a row, it seems. Uh, for Mercenary here, it's it's more important for him to be able to get a pallet down on time. Uh, it seems like the next... Okay, we're probably gonna have to pop here. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to pop here. Hiding behind that would be the best case scenario right here. Uh, for Survivor's side, didn't really get a hook over. You can't really get a hook over from that side. Now then, we missed a hook. That's very nice. If you missed a hook, that's very nice. And the exit gate is currently open. Ah... Uh... Uh, okay, we learned that you cannot get trapped twice in a row. But the chair camp is absolutely good. The chair camp is really, 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 really good. Barmaid is going to be able to get out of the gate as well. Let's graduate to tie game here for the survivors. Moving on towards second half. Okay, second half is going to be Pepe here playing GK. Uh, we did see the team comp for a little bit, but let's move on straight towards the game. Then it's going to be day two match to game two, second half of T versus CT. Seems like we are going to be able to see this here jumping down there immediately. Pepe didn't really see the nearby areas too, but we do have, we do have, we do have, we do have peepers here, which is not bad news. Okay, uh, probably breaking the pallet here would not be a bad choice. We have trump card detention with double pallet breaking, well, triple pallet breaking alongside with rage, it does seem. Seer wants to rotate up. I guess for Seer's side here as well, right? It's in a nutshell, just depending on how well you do. We did manage to place that down. Seer running towards the back right now. And uh, he's going to be going to be, he's gonna be able to jump down from the other side here. Thankfully, Lisa, once again, it's going to be a very long containment. But also, even with the Seer in field right now, even with the Seer on the field right now, if Seer gets the Owl out, you can just immediately hook the Owl. But you need to be able to not hook Seer first, which is the biggest issue, I feel. Okay, we're going to be seeing here. We hooked the Owl. We didn't hook the Owl. A little bit unfortunate. Very nice loop there by Seer. Very, very, very nice loop there by Seer. We're going to be able to get the Vault over, but it seems like we hit... maybe we could have placed a trap down. Maybe we could have placed a trap down there, Pepe, for Dash Bush. Uh... Gonna be able to get a jump down. Okay, jump down seems fine for now. We're still trying to look at where Seer is, but Survivor's Cypher Machine is very... Ooh, that hooked! Ooh, that hooked! Seer has only 20% elder regen right here. We weren't really looking back so much because we were putting distance against the Gamekeeper. But even with Gamekeeper on mind, there's gonna be L coming in immediately for the support. L... L, we got the hook on L, we cannot hit L. Yeah, you can't hit L there. That's gonna be a second disarm. Ah, uh, we could go for L here. Potentially speaking, you could go for L here. You could go for L here. Now on that side, no. I'm gonna go in between the pilot. That's gonna be a trap place down. We do have a hook. Uh, there's a flywheel, so okay, no, never mind. Flywheel didn't come out, but even with that on mind. 
forward pull. No, no pull. Okay, a little bit too far away. A little bit too far away to pull there. Fair enough. A little bit too far away. We're probably going to go in for the stone rescue if that's the case. Are we going to stone rescue forward? Are we going to stone rescue? We are We are going to stone rescue. Okay, ring with a half ball pull. That's going to be a half ball pull. A very long pull there against an antiquarian. But uh, GK should be able to catch up pretty fast. That's going to be second ball. Yeah, the second ball wasn't as long as the other one, but you know what? With forward trying to body block there for as much as he can, that's going to be another pushback. That's going to be L. L is going to be able to continue here for quite a bit of time. I can feel it. I can feel it. You can do it, Antiquarian. You can do it. We're going to be able to trap that. We're going to be able to trap that. We're still playing around. We're going to be able to get a 10 second disarm. Might as well just hook there. Might as well just hook there by this point. Might as well just hook. We're going to be able to get a pallet stone, which is no me gusta. But. Mm, an anti-Korean side, she does have one more disarm. Did that disarm cancel the trap? Oh, okay, we managed to fly with it. You know what? That's good enough for me. That is good enough for me. We are going to be able to get another palace on here. Very nicely done, L. Very, very... Ooh, we didn't get that. Ah, we didn't get... Ah, 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 ve Maria. We didn't get that. It seems like it's going to be a four-man endgame here for the survivors. It seems like it's going to be a four-man endgame. See L going to towards the corner there. Okay, L is going at the corner. We do see where forward is. But with this pickup, we're going to be able to get a chair. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, On forward side, no. It seems like forward is... Mm, we're going to wait. Who's going to come in? Ford is going to come in. Okay, Ford's at max health, which is good news. Uh, Ford just has a little... Well, I mean, to be honest with you, even if Ford... Uh, Ford wants to buy a little bit more time because they're not decoding last item machine just yet. That's very fair. That is very, 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 very fair. Ford should be able to get the rescue here. It's quite tight scenario. But a Cypher machine is fine. Okay, not bad. We're going to be able to get the hit on towards Anikurian. And the Cypher machine has popped. Okay, now, let me see. Sears already on the exit gate here as well. anti is currently rushing. Ouch. But there's no dungeon nearby, which is a little bit of an unfortunate situation. Oh, we're TPing. Oh, this is a bad TP. This is a really bad TP, Pepe. They're all rushing towards the other end gate right now. Oh, my lord. It's going to be a 4 mine escape. That is some bad teleportation. That is some bad teleportation. Ah, uh, we missed the hook. It seems like it's going to be a 4 mine escape for the survivors. Pepe, a little bit of a laugh right there for himself. Bit of a cope situation, but it's okay. T still has the advantage point here. Well, one point advantage point. Next game takes it all. 